What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Hollywood here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, Jack and Bella got married. If you guys don't know what The Sims 4 Hollywood is though, basically we follow a young Jack Hollywood as he tries to become the most hilarious comedian and the most famous sim in all of The Sims 4. And like I said last time we left off, Jack and Bella got married. They had their wedding in the park. It was beautiful. Everyone loved it. It was a great time. And then I said today, we would be moving into Bella Goth's house. Thus gold digging from Bella, kind of because Jack's kind of that kind of guy. Kind of, kind of, lots of kind ofs. But I think that uh, Jack's going to benefit from this greatly because right now as you can see living conditions not so great uh bella's house is a mansion so it needs a little bit of redecorating i don't know if i like the dark red bloody bloody everything so but before we get to this episode guys make sure you slap that like button lemonheads i've been so happy with all the support you guys have been giving me on the series and on everything i do so please hit that like button let's go for 1500 likes on this episode of the sims 4 hollywood okay so let's get started so today like i said we will be moving into bella's house jack will be saying goodbye to the this house. I'm gonna leave it how it is though because I don't want to ruin a good thing we really have a good thing here and I don't want to ruin it I think it's really amazing what we have what we built with this house I think it'll be nice to have a memory of this maybe Jack's future son could move into this house who knows so I kind of want to just keep it how it is I don't want to strip it for parts or anything like that oh Jesus Jack, one last expense. One last expense. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do right now, is it Jack's day off? Is it? It is. He's got the next three days off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna cut the record really quick, and we're going to move into Bella's house. Okay, we just got into our new household, and look at what Jack's doing right off the start. He's got to pump himself up. He has not even walked into the house yet. Uh, I guess he's a little bit nervous and wants to look really buff before he walks in and, and meets his now family because him and Bella are married and uh, these are his stepkids, I guess, kind of. So we know there's Cassandra and what's his name again? Alexander. Okay, so Alexander and Cassandra. Now this house, let's let's get a little bit of a tour, a little bit of a taste here. Um, as you can see, this house is huge. We have the huge fireplace area and it looks like it's got a nice sit down area chess table all that good stuff looks very decorated and fun then we have the kitchen area now I don't know what this chair is I actually hate this chair more than anything I'm gonna delete it uh, but as you can see we do have sixty thousand dollars we we absorb the goths um, fund which was about like 25 or 40 thousand something like that and then Jack had to sell all of his furniture when he moved the house so um, basically we have sixty eight thousand in the bank plus this huge mansion of a house um, the kitchen looks amazing really like the way this house looks I think like I don't think I'm gonna change it because it, it's 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 great how it is uh, it does need some Jack Hollywood flair maybe um, but who knows if we're gonna live here forever this is just where we're gonna start and hey one day we could sell this house sell the belongings and live in a mansion Hollywood style I guess I'll have you guys vote on that in the comments should we stay living at the the goth house for a while or should we sell the belongings and move into our own mansion. I can download it off the, the gallery and we can just have this huge Hollywood style mansion. But here's a dining room. Then you go upstairs. And I believe that this looks like, yeah, this is Bella's, Bella and I's room. Um, and then we have Cassandra's room right here. Um, a piano area where um, I guess they can do piano things in a big bathroom with a bathtub. We do not have a shower, I don't think, in this house. Uh, and then this is Alexander's room, way at the tippy top of the tower. Pretty cool. I like the setup of the house. It's kind of creepy. Like, I feel like there could be ghosts, or there might not be ghosts, but there most definitely is ghosts. Um, but let, right away, we're going to buy a shower, because Jack, ah, he's not a bath guy. He is definitely the shower type, so let's go here. Let's go to, what is it? Would it be under appliances? Techn no, 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 plumbing, plumbing. Where's plumbing? I'm missing it. There it is. Okay, so showers. Now, I don't think they have an evil-looking shower, so what we're going to do is just get this one. Uh, and I want to set this up pretty much. I don't know. We can't set it right there because then the bathtub's not usable. So what I'll do is move this sink right to the corner, and I'll also move the mirror to the corner. Is that mirror? Oh, it's not... Pfft. It's underneath the staircase. That's not going to be a helpful mirror. Uh, okay, so corner, corner, and then the shower can go in this far corner right here. And that looks good, decent enough. At least we can shower now and 
Joe doesn't have to worry about actually taking a bath. Um, okay, so this house is to Jack's liking. He is now super rich, uh, thanks to his wife. So we're going to have Jack come up here and kind of, uh, you know, greet Bella. Like, honey, I'm finally home. You know, we're going to share our life together now. Is that correct? <laughs> oh, he's so proper. Jack, you got to... Do you not know how to get in the... Are you locked outside the house? Jack, do you, do you need assistance? Uh, set front... This door is already set as front door. Jack, do you not know how to get in the house? Jack, you're starting to scare me. Jack, go here, Jack. There we go. Okay, I was going to say. You're scaring me, Jack. Okay, let's go upstairs. What we're going to do is we are going to kiss her hand. We're going to let Bella know we are here for good. Offer a rose. Get a little romantic. And then go right to the, the bedroom and celebrate <laughs> that we are now together, which is great. Okay, Jack, get up the stairs. This is a huge house. Jack is not used to this. Jack is like, holy crap. I didn't think I could walk around in this house. This is a workout. I don't need to go to the gym anymore. Oh, she lo she's loving the rose. And she is getting pretty flirty, guys. She is getting pretty flirty. Oh, she's she's feeling it, guys. She is feeling it. Okay, so let's let's get a little let's get a little uh reaction to how much she's feeling it. Is she feeling it? You betcha. <laughs> okay, so oh no, whoa, whoa, we fell off the house. This is a too big of a house. This is a huge house. Okay, get in here. I'm looking through the window. What the heck? Why am I? There we go. Okay, this must be her bedroom. I don't like this as our bedroom. I really don't. I like the other bedroom. We're definitely gonna make this bedroom our bedroom tonight. We'll make sure we seal the deal in that bedroom. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Jack is sealing the deal with Bella. They now live together. They're married. Everything is great. It is 11.50 in the morning on a day off. We do have to earn $250 performing comedy routines. Now, I've, I've been realizing we earn $75 to $125 per time we do something like this at a club or something like that. So what we're going to do, uh, I know we just moved in, but we're going to travel away from this and we're going to hit up the club today. Wow, Bella's nighttime or uh, nightwear. Oh, wow. Her <laughs> sleepwear. That is... um. Pretty crazy. Okay, so away we go into the nightclub. We have to earn some money. Uh, wait, didn't I set up? I set up a microphone at the park. I guess we could give it a shot. It is daytime. The nightclub's probably not going to have too much for us to offer. Uh, I mean, too much to offer us. Um, so we're going to just go to the park, perform in the park, see if any old ladies give us some tips. Uh, we do need $250 to get promoted. And this is kind of easier than Cassandra's career path in my other series. The the, the comedian uh, career is a lot easier, I feel, than the musician. Okay, so let's see. I know I put that microphone, and there it is. Nice. I'm glad it's still here. Let's go to uh, perform routine. We will do the uh, medium-length routine going to the museum. Okay, now let's see if we can get anyone to be entertained with our comedic genius. Okay, who is this? Reese? Uh, okay, Reese, a stall. You can feel free. Oh, $125. Okay, we just earned half of what we needed. Let's perform Pit of Judgment, one of our first ever written routines. And it looks like we don't have anyone interested. We are a level 8 comedian now. Uh, we can compose and perform lawn routines on the computer and microphone, respectively. Good, good, good. Jolly good day. Oh, no one's tipping. No one's tipping the guy that with the, with the microphone in the park. They're like, he got $125 for that lady. He doesn't need any more. Come on, Jack. I believe in you. I believe we can get another $125 from these people at this park. Jack, just hustle. Hustle like Jack Hollywood should. Continue to hustle. Here, here she comes. She's, this is your sugar lady. Restall. She likes the Jack. She likes the Jack. Come on, Jack. Continue the routine. Don't end it here. This is where the punchline comes in. This is where the $125 comes. No, she didn't enjoy it. She did not. But we have another girl here now. And she did not enjoy it either. Okay, no one... No one really cares. They're like, we've heard that. Oh, whoa, there we go. Another $125. That's all we needed. We now have all of our goals. And now we just got to work hard on our next two days. We should definitely be promoted, hopefully in the first day. Um, I don't really know how to get career performance up besides going to work. Uh, let's see. Going to work with a positive emotion and completing the daily tasks are the best ways to improve career performance. Write slash perform routines okay 50 percent done we can easily do that an ideal mood is playful so before we go to work maybe we should joke around with bella or something but let's head home we should probably try to make good with our our stepdaughter cassandra and our stepson alexander uh we don't want any drama there we don't want no baby drama we only want mama drama no we don't want any drama let me correct myself no drama please <laughs> don't want a dramatic family don't want some reality show family uh, no thank you. Well, Jack Hollywood, maybe he would want something like that. I don't know. Okay, so let's go. We are going to make friends with Alexander. We want to see what his interests are. Alex, where are you? Oh, you're in the kitchen. Okay, you're eating something. Uh, okay, so let's teach valuable life lessons. Share a secret with Alex. Now, we're not going to control Alex or Cassandra um, or even Bella. 
as a matter of fact, in this series that much because this series is all about Jack Hollywood. So these kids are going to do what their life path had in mind for them right from the get-go. Um, now, if Jack has kids, uh, we'll control those kids. We will control Bella, too. But I think Alexander and Cassandra are probably best controlled... Oh, am I being Bella? Are probably best controlled by... Um, themselves because they're not my kids they're my stepkids so I really don't want to interfere with their life too much I don't want to be that forceful stepfather uh oh uh oh we're in a three-way conversation now we don't want this okay so we just gave a friendly introduction we can joke about teachers we're a funny guy impersonate celebrities uh, tell a funny story um, let's joke about fashion we can do all these little jokes and flash the crazy eyes um, let's see get to know let's do all that Jack is He's just trying. He is trying his hardest. Uh, come on, Jack. Oh, all those went away. Let's tell a funny story. He's feeling a little goofy. He's feeling a little playful. I like it. Jack's having a good time. Let's tell an outrageous story. Um, let's uh, ask about school. We want to seem interested. We are the stepfather in all of this. Okay. Come on, Jack. All right, this three-way conversation is going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, go to the bathroom because we want to have a, just a, a dad, a stepdad on stepson conversation right now. Um, let's do another knock-knock joke. Uh, try out our, some of our material, because we're a pretty funny guy. Flash crazy eyes. So he's feeling pretty playful as well. We have Alex feeling pretty happy. Let's check our friendship status with him. So, uh, eh, we're working on it. Cassandra we're pretty good with. Let me see. The household. So Cassandra we're pretty good with. We could, we could work on it a little bit more. But Alexander, we're actually, we're actually starting to get pretty good with. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So let's see. Mmm... Let's get to know him a little bit. Uh, ask about his day. Uh, maybe maybe brain his day. Oh god, the crazy eyes. Uh, no, not brain day twice. Let's uh, discuss latest games. See if he's a video gamer. He, we learned he's a bookworm. Okay, that's something new. Jack, you're learning things about your 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 stepson, not son, but stepson, which is good. <laughs> uh, acquired the cooking skill. Balance learning how to cook, guys. Uh, we'll probably control them actually, because I don't want them to screw up their homework or anything. We want them to be good students. Yeah, they're C students. So they were struggling with life before I got here. Look at they're struggling to do anything right. They don't they're all really bad students. So we don't want their lives to end like this. We want them to be good students. She wants to attend school well focused. Okay, that's not a hard thing to do. Um, and then he wants to uh, he needs his skills at four and he needs to attend school energized. So none of these are really impossible things to do, so we can we can help them out a little bit. Um, but I, I really don't want to control them too much. I want them still to be their free spirits, because, like I said, this show's called Hollywood for the one reason, Jack Hollywood, and now his lovely wife, Bella, and potentially their future kids. These are just his stepkids. These are Mortimer's kids. He, you know, he still cares, but not as much, because <laughs> Jack Hollywood's cold, heartless. Oh, oh is he always going to eat the full plate of macaroni? That wasn't, that wasn't a family plate of macaroni. This is now Jack's plate of macaroni. He's like, family, what? Isn't there a bathroom down here? There is. Okay. Let's use the toilet. Um, now there's no TV from what I saw. Now this house, that's kind of bland. Why don't you have a TV in this house? So what we're going to see if there's any wall-mounted TVs. Because if there is, we're buying one. This TV looks pretty big. It's 3500 bucks. Let's get it in black. Oh, darn it. There's a painting there. Um, uh, I want to delete this painting, but for some reason, double D... I'll have to go like this. Okay, so let's go like this. Uh, we want the big Gahuna TV. Uh, it's not that big of a TV, actually. Um, is it centered? It is. Okay, so at least we have a TV now. It was $3,500 or so, like $2,500, $3,500. Uh, so now Jack can actually go here and he can watch some of his great comedy television. He loves his comedy television so much. He's going to be watching it at a weird angle. But we can also have the whole family in, uh, sit down and maybe enjoy a little bit of TV. So let's have her watch the current channel. Uh, we're going to have Cassandra come over here and watch the current channel. And then also Alexander come over here and watch the current channel so we can all chill and have a family, a little bit of a family outing. This, like watching TV and chatting, getting to know each other, just having a good old family bonding time. <laughs> family bonding moment. Uh, I'm trying to do my controls, my classic controls. There we go. So we're still watching. We're still all watching TV and enjoying. This is family TV time, guys. It's Monday at 7 p.m. This is like primetime TV. So me and Cassandra are having a good conversation. How are me and Alexander? Pretty good. Me and Cassandra are doing, I think, a little bit better. 
Yeah, we're still acquaintances with both kids. We really want them to get a friendship level with us. Because, you know, she's family... Well, wait, I thought she was a party animal. Wait, what? what is Be what are Bella's traits? I thought she was a party animal. Uh, what is this? Um... Uh, Courageous Sims uh, build friendly relationships faster. Okay. Okay, so she is not a party animal. Uh, she becomes an adult in 58 days. What's Jack's age? Uh, 58 days. Cassandra has 30 days until she's an adult. And Alexander has 30 days till he's a teenager. So we have a lot of time to mold these guys. I think I will somewhat control the kids, like I said. Because um, I do want them to get good grades and everything still. But I'm still going to let them be their own people. Oh, Bella's kissing us. We're having one of the best family times ever, you guys. Now, Bella made some mac and cheese. I think I ate her mac and cheese. Um, so we're going to have her serve some salad. She's trying to get her cooking skill up. She, she, I think she is a stay-at-home mom right now. She does not have a job. Oh, no, she does. An intelligence researcher, 7 a.m. to 3. That's why she was always gone, you guys. Okay, so what level of that? Is, okay, it's at level two in the career path. So all she has to do is work really hard tomorrow, and she should get a promotion, which will be great because Jack Jack likes money. And now that Mortimer's gone, he was a breadwinner for the family, so we really need these because she's earning $19 an hour. I'm earning 115 so that's not bad. Jack's doing really well for the family. Now we're talking with Alexander. He's eating some cereal. This is, this is just like picture-perfect family moments, guys, and I love it. Jack is feeling this dad. Look at he He left the couch to go sit by Alexander. And he's like, see, son, that could be me one day. Your stepdad. I could be on Letterman. Okay, bye, Alexander. Thanks for talking to me, bro. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, it is 9 o'clock. So, Alex, you are going to be going to bed. Did you get your homework done? I hope you did. You did not. Do your homework. Uh, we're going to have Cassandra do her homework as well. So that's what they're going to have to do before the night is through. And then once they're done with homework, all the way up to bed for you, um, Alexander. Oh, his bedroom is in a really high up location. Uh, go to sleep. Then we'll go down a level. Uh, and I'm really making I'm making this Cassandra's bed because I am not gonna have any of that. Um, okay, so that's Cassandra's bed. Then this is going to be mine and um, woohoo with let's go with let's woohoo with Bella Goth uh, here. And then we'll probably just go to sleep and pass out because we had a really long day. She's feeling pretty confident right now. Oh, Jack, Jack gave up on this. He's like woohooing. That doesn't sound like something that's gonna happen. Because Bella's got to eat her salad. Now, Jack, are you hungry? Because if you are, maybe you should just eat too. No, you're not. You're not that hungry. We we don't want to overfeed you, Jack. So let's put this away. Uh, Jack's going to go to the bathroom. And then I think we're going to have a, a woohoo with um, Bella before bed. And that will lead right up to bed. So it'll be a good way to cap off the night. We now live in this beautiful house, you guys. This is just an amazing life. Jack went from literally nothing to actually having quite a bit of something. And now he has... You know, a makeshift family. He's not ready for his own kids quite yet. Bella had kids really young. He's not ready for his own quite yet, though. But he is ready to raise his two stepchildren and live with his lovely wife, Bella, who obviously is too busy eating green salad before uh, instead of, you know, making romance with Jack. So we're going to have them go up and make some romance. Uh, oh, wait. I think they're going to make romance in the wrong room, though. Let's cancel the romance, guys. Romance is canceled. No romance because you're going to go in Cassandra's bed, and that's going to be gross. And she's going to walk in, and it's going to lead to more gross things about gross things. Oh, wait. No, we could do this. Woohoo with uh, Bella right here. Okay, perfect. Because then they'll go in this bed. We want to make sure this is their bed. Let's go ahead. There we go. Now they should go to sleep. Cassandra is going to go to bed, too. It's been a long day. It's 11 p.m. already. Looks like Alexander's been asleep for a while. Cassandra's got to go to bed. And we are about to pass out for the day. But you guys, I think this is a great place to end the episode. Jack is continuing his gold digging ways. But he actually loves Bella. And is willing to raise her family with her. Uh, she, he doesn't want to make her regret leaving Mortimer. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to slap that like button. If you watched the whole thing, comment down below. Um family man because jack's becoming a little bit of a family man uh, comment that down below and i know you watched the whole episode and until next time remember to take it easy live it squeezy